Edge Impulse is the complete embedded ML solution, from helping you acquire and label your sensor data, designing and training your machine learning model, and finally deploying your model to your Spressence or other device, Edge Impulse makes the embedded machine learning pipeline easy and streamlined for data-driven engineering. Recently, Edge Impulse released full support for the Spressence microcontroller and its add-ons, including its camera attachment, sensor add-ons, networking add-ons, and its extension board with audio inputs and outputs. Today, I will show you how you can get started using Edge Impulse with Sony Spressence microcontroller to collect and label audio samples, design and train a continuous audio recognition model, and finally, deploy this model to the Spressence for keyword spotting directly in the field. To get started, first create your free account on edgeimpulse.com and install the Edge Impulse CLI to your computer. Installation instructions for the CLI can be found in our documentation. For this keyword spotting use case, we will need the following hardware the Spressence microcontroller baseboard, the Spressence extension board with SD card, jumper wire or a soldering iron, a 2.2K ohm resistor, and an analog electric condenser microphone. Check out the Edge Impulse documentation and Sony's documentation for information on how to connect all these parts together. Plug your Spressence into your computer with a micro USB cable. Then from the Edge Impulse documentation, download and unzip the latest firmware and flash it onto your board with the included script for your operating system. This firmware includes everything you need to connect your board over serial connection to your Edge Impulse project and start collecting new sensor data. Wait for the script to finish flashing, and then you can get started collecting your new data. Now that the firmware has been flashed to the Spressence, open up a command prompt or terminal application and type Edge Impulse Daemon to log into your Edge Impulse account and connect your Spressence to your project. Type in your Edge Impulse username and password, select and name your Spressence board, and then select the project you'd like to connect your board to and now we're ready to start collecting data. In your web browser, navigate to your Edge Impulse project and select the Data Acquisition tab. For a keyword spotting use case, we will need to collect three types of audio samples. The keyword we are trying to spot, in this case yes or no, background noise in the environment, and unknown words that are not yes or no. Collect at least 30 minutes of this training data and six minutes of test data where each audio sample is one second long and contains one word or noise recording each. In my example, I have collected an hour and 20 minutes of training data and 20 minutes of test data. The more data you upload and from varied sources like from your colleagues and friends, for example, the better your model will perform in real life. We also have a pre-built data set available for you to download at our documentation. To start recording new data, select your device on the right, then select your audio sample label. In this case, I'm recording more yes samples. I've reset my recording length to 5,000 milliseconds so I can record multiple samples in one go, making sure to leave a pause of space in between each iteration of yes. Then select the built-in microphone sensor and a 16,000 hertz frequency. Now click the start sampling button. Yes. 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 I can split my five second sample down into its one second subsamples by clicking on the button to the right of the recording and then selecting split sample. Set the sample length to 1000 milliseconds and then click split. Edge Impulse will automatically find where your keywords are located within the original sample recording and then split them into subsamples for you. Yes. Now that we have uploaded all of our data, we need to design and train our machine learning model. Select the Impulse Design tab, and then select the Audio MFCC block and click Add. Then select the classification Keras block and then click Add. And then select Save Impulse. The MFCC processing block is just for human voice audio data, and it basically just takes the raw audio data and puts it into a simplified form. Then the classification block is for our machine learning algorithm. Now select the MFCC tab. Keep the parameters at their default values and then click Save Parameters. Now click Generate Features. Wait for the features to be generated from your audio data. And now you can see the Feature Explorer and the on-device latency calculations for when this signal processing code is run on the Spressence for new and unknown audio sources. The Feature Explorer can help you determine if any of the training data was mislabeled, as these points in the 3D visualization show you audio samples that are most closely related to each other in clusters. Now select the NN classifier tab and turn on data augmentation. Keep the rest of the layers of values the same and then click the start training button. 
The network that we're training here will take the MFCC features as an input and try to map them to one of our four classes. Our keywords yes or no, noise, and unknown. Wait for this process to finish training, and then we'll see our output of our trained model. Now that our model has finished training, we can see that our accuracy is around 89% based on the validation set that our algorithm set aside and passed through the resulting trained model. For our use case, this accuracy works great and will be enough to identify when I speak yes or no into the microphone on my presence board. We can also see how quickly the device will generate these predictions under the on-device performance section. To deploy my model directly onto the edge on the Spresence, all I need to do is select the Deployment tab, then select Sony Spresence, then click Build. This will create a pre-built firmware containing a proof-of-concept application that I can directly flash onto my Spresence and start running a keyword spotting model on the edge without having to write any code using the Edge Impulse SDK. Now, close the terminal application we had running for the Edge Impulse daemon. Unzip the built firmware and select the flash script for your operating system. Select your board. Once the firmware has flashed your Spresence, open up a new terminal application and type in the command edge impulse run impulse dash dash continuous. This command will start the firmware's main function on your Spresence and you can begin to see the output of your board collecting new audio recordings and printing the predictions of what the audio is classified as based on the trained model. A score for the keywords yes or no, noise and unknown will be shown. Yes. No. Congratulations, you have now successfully trained and deployed a continuous audio recognition model to your Spresence microcontroller by Sony using Edge Impulse.